Now we can save our logo as an XCF file, create a background, and start putting everything together as a completed screen. We'll start by creating a new image that's the size of our display in pixels. Our particular display is 480 by 272. We'll go ahead and resize that and then set our view to 2 to 1. And now we can add a new layer with the background gradient effect. We'll call this layer blend. And it's got a transparent fill. And now we'll go to the blend tool and set up our foreground colors. And the foreground colors again were selected using Adobe Cooler. And you can see the HTML notation was taken directly from Adobe Cooler. So we'll set that foreground color, grab the blend tool, hold control down and drag the cursor where we want the gradient effect. Now we can set the opacity to get the effect we want. Now we can go ahead and add the logo we just made to the background. We'll open the logo. and select the entire logo and copy all visible layers. Now we can go ahead and paste it as a new layer and you'll see it show up in the layer dialog. Now we'll select our move tool and move act to move active layer and then grab the align tool We'll select the entire outside area of the image. And we'll go to the alignment tool and we'll align from selection. And we'll throw an offset of 10 pixels from the, from the left edge and the top. Now we can go ahead and open our footer.xcf file and add that to the background. We'll go ahead and select all, copy all visible layers, and then we'll paste that as a new layer. Now we can go ahead and place the footer at the bottom of the background image. And then we can go ahead and rename those layers to logo. And then we'll rename the footer layer to footer. Now let's go ahead and add the buttons. I already have my button.xcf file open, so I'll go ahead and select that. Uh, select all copy the visible layers and paste them as a new layer. So you can see this is the button in the unpressed state. We can go ahead and place that about where we want it. Grab the selection tool and we'll pick an area we want to align the button to or center the button to. So we'll end about halfway at the end of the screen, and we can adjust that manually. 240. Now we can go ahead, grab the alignment tool, align from selection, and we'll center it. Now that we got our button centered, we can go ahead and place the image of the pressed button. So we'll switch back to our button.xcf file. We'll make the layer, the pressed layer, visible and then we'll copy all visible layers. Switch back and we'll paste as a new layer. 
the pressed button layer. Now we just need to put that on top of our unpressed button and align it. And now you can see the pressed and unpressed button. Following the same steps, we can add the other button. Now to generate the necessary bitmaps of each image, we need to select them, and we can modify our selection manually. And then copy all visible layers of the selection. Then we'll go ahead and paste that as a new image. And now we can save this image as a bitmap. We'll save this as button one up.bmp. We also want to set the color to 24 bits. Next we can create the button down image. We'll go ahead and make visible the button pressed image. And then we'll copy all visible layers in the selection and save it as a new image. And we'll save this as a button one down dot BMP. Make sure to select the 24 bit color. Following the same steps for the other button, the reach logo, the gradient background, and the footer, we now have the necessary bitmaps to easily create this functional display in a reach technology display module.